so dovetailing that obviously with this list of 40 folks that you guys came up with that were the most influential in cryptocurrency um, obviously was kind of glaring that there wasn't a single Bitcoiner among the 40 names when you have the only thing that's actually been working in the space as intended for 14 years and is likely, you know, even even the most diehard crypto NFT DeFi blockchain person has to admit if they're being realistic that there's like a reasonable possibility that Bitcoin is the only thing that actually matters and, and exists as far as things that actually have a token or a currency ex- associated with it. So I think that was just kind of glaring and funny and it'd be nice to see something like 10 or 15 Bitcoiners in the top 40 next year. All right, we can work on that. Uh, who would you have nominated uh, as the Bitcoiner then? Uh, so I'd actually kick that to you. You cover the space. So if you had like another 10 slots that you were going to give to Bitcoiners, and make it a 50 person list. And go it is a 50 to... person list actually, but go ahead. Okay, I thought it was top 40. <laughs> yeah. um, anyway, so yeah, I'm, I'm curious, like, do you know who important Bitcoiners are? And if so, like, how did none of them make the list? <laughs> You're really putting us on the spot here. Um, well, I think I, it's, a, it's, a, it's an important question. Like, I help you guys. You put me on the spot when Ian sent me the Alameda balance sheet and I had to on the spot analyze it for him for an hour so you guys could put out your story and break FTX. Yeah. So I think it's reasonable that I ask you live in front of this audience, hopefully recorded, you know, who do you actually think matters in the Bitcoin space and why are none of them on your list? Well, I think we do have lots of uh, Bitcoiners on the list. Uh, I mean, Nick Carter. Name one. Nick, Nick, Carter. Is a blockchain, Nick is a blockchain VC who sometimes writes about Bitcoin and spends most of his time attacking Bitcoiners this year. And in fact, that's why you honored him was specifically for that. Well, we honored him for uh, sticking up against toxic maximalism, which is maybe different from, you know, being a Bitcoiner. Yeah, but that was actually just kind of a a red herring. What he was actually doing is attacking normal Bitcoiners, not toxic Bitcoin maximalists. He painted them with that brush. You got to remember that toxic maximalism was something that Vitalik came up with to slander Bitcoiners. So it's actually an epithet. And so that was actually just like bad reporting on your part. Okay. Well, thank you. Are there any others? No, no. I don't think you should cut me off. Are there any others you can think of? You said there are Bitcoiners on the list. I'm not not cutting you off, but we do have other people that need to ask questions. This reminds me of these SPF spaces. Uh, Can you name another Bitcoiner on your list? Well, I think there are lots of people on the list uh, who represent the Bitcoin industry. Who? One. Name one. Well, I would need to look at the list again. Um, Didn't you just produce it? So, again, is there anyone you can think of in the Bitcoin space that you think would have a Bitcoin spot if you guys valued Bitcoin at all and paid attention to it at Consensus Magazine? Obviously, Coindesk TV does a good job. The site does a good job. I don't know anything about Consensus Magazine, but I know that nobody reached out to anyone I know. Well, I mean, I think I would throw it back to you and say who in the Bitcoin space would deserve special recognition this year? I mean, what what are the um, developments in Bitcoin um, that would um, put one of those people on our list? They have to have actually done something. I'm not going to I'm not going to go back and forth. Do you actually cover the space and know anything about it? Do I cover the space? Did you know that that Taproot launched this year? Taproot was a most influential in 2021. Okay, so fine. But did you know that a bunch of services launched on it and people are building things on it? Did you cover anything about, you know, Bitcoin on ramps exploding in popularity? Did you cover anything about Bitcoin reporters and analysts exploding onto the scene and being the ones that actually called bullshit on all the crypto scams? You know, kind of over and over again. I mean, the CEO of any major Bitcoin company can make your list. Uh, the journalists can make your list. I'm just, it, it's just funny that when asked, you literally can't name a single person. I just think it's a lack of attention. But you weren't able to name a single person either. Well, Adam Back should be on the list every single year. Uh, Gigi well, should be on the list every single happen. year. Oh, it's not. Why? Because we wouldn't put somebody on the list every single year. Okay, so when was the last time that Adam Back was on the list? I don't know. Why, why don't you look? Okay. It's your publication. 
you get my point. I've made my point. I'm not gonna not gonna sit up here and, and you know. I hope we, we appreciate we appreciate you coming on, and we we certainly uh, are responsive to criticism, and we will try and uh, do a better job next yeah, time. Yeah, let's get and... some Bitcoiners on there next year. I think it's okay. probably kind of important for CoinDesk to be covering Bitcoin. I, I would certainly agree with that, and I'm sorry for okay. the oversight. And thanks for coming on. I appreciate you, Ben. Thanks. Okay, great. Uh, well, thank you very much. That was Corey Clipstein. Um, he's the uh, CEO of Swan Bitcoin, and thanks for that criticism.